Hey family, my name is Franklin and I am the face behind Sounds by Frank. Today I am not only going to help you to freestyle better, but also help you master it. When you are in a studio and you do not have that big of a budget, freestyling can become really useful because you can lay down an entire song within an hour and we all know that studio time is expensive. I gathered all this information from my network, all the artists I am working with and I made sure to only pick the best tips for you. Let's start. Tip number one, use a wide variety of beats. There are always certain types of beats you freestyle better on. We all know that. Ones that get your blood pumping and give you and bring you a lot of energy. You might even lean towards a specific tempo when it comes to beats and it's perfect if you're starting out. But if you really want to manufacture your flow, you need to use different styles, types and genres of beats. Tip number two, scat, mumble and hum. Scatting over a beat will help you to get the rhythm and flow of the beat down. And it is very important when it comes to freestyling. You can compare it with the melody of the beat. Humming, scatting and mumbling is exactly what rap is about, but you only have to fill in the words for it. Tip number three, search for emotion. The best way to captivate an audience is to use emotion in your music. My beats are a reflection of me as a person. I'm energetic, I'm happy and I'm grateful for everything I achieve. And that is exactly what you can hear back in my music. Try that out, it will really help you. If you find a beat that fits your life, it is way easier to freestyle on it. Tip number four, don't be shy. This one might seem obvious, but beginners experience the problem of filtering out what they are going to say. If you cannot think about what you are going to say, work with that. Here, let me try. Yeah, that was a stupid bar, but I'm a bring it back out of my heart. It rhymes and it sounds kind of cool, right? So stay honest, stay true to yourself, and if you mess up, that's not a problem at all. Tip number five, use the beat. The beat you choose is very important. Why? Because it can help you freestyle better. Almost every beat has their own melody and you can flow with that instead of against it. There are also no rules when it comes to freestyling and you can pick your own beat, so make sure you do that right. To keep your freestyle interesting for the listeners, try to throw pauses here and there and maybe even different pitches in your voice. Tip number six, freestyle with pictures. We as humans love to use pictures and images in our lives. They say a great picture can say a thousand words. The reason behind that is when we see a picture as humans, our mind starts to wonder and think and that immediately helps you to create new words for your freestyle. So try to use pictures. I'm also going to make a video about this on my channel where you can freestyle with pictures. They change every 10 seconds to help you freestyle better. Tip number seven, freestyle about objects. If you're attending to a freestyle concert, this might be the perfect solution for you to keep the crowd involved with your rap. It might not be the easiest thing to do, but if you find the key, you can immediately attract a great amount of fans around you because if you say like, oh, with the red shirt, is going, bruh, you know, you can involve the people in your rap and it makes them listen. They think, hey, that's me. Tip number eight, metaphors and wordplay. Wordplay in rap is something people like to hear. You can also call it punchlines. And I know it is very hard to throw great punchlines in a song or in a freestyle, especially in a freestyle when you cannot think enough about it. But when you master this, you can really get the attention of a lot of people around you and in the freestyle because People love punchlines, that's just a fact. A great example of a hard punchline, at least that's what I think, is from an artist I worked with. And he said, Oh, your man's got bars, well, I am better though. Oh, your man's makes beats, well, Frank is better bro. That's kind of hard. And it's really simple, and he freestyled that too. So, if he can do it, you can do it. Tip number nine, a little cheat code. It can be really hard if all the eyes in the room are focused on you or if you need to record a video of your own freestyle. I know that, I make videos, I think this is kind of weird too, but I love to do it and to help others. And I think you want to expand your audience too, so you have to be in front of other people. What can help with that is this. When the beat you picked starts to play, you only have a few seconds before you need to kick in and throw the bars on it. You know that. But that can be really hard and I understand that because you have to just go with the flow and if you are a beginner at freestyling, it might not be a bad thing to think about some bars before you start. 
just in your head, just written down. Though if you have to freestyle for someone on the street or on a concert or you, you, you never know where it can happen. Try to remember one bar so you can start with that and then you can flow. Tip number 10. Change your pitch. There are a few rappers in the Netherlands who use the same pitch for 3 minutes long. I hate that. It's sad, it's boring. Yeah, it's boring and I think you know that too. Using the same pitch is like very monotone and very mono. I don't know how to say that because my English is not that good yet. But I'm trying and I'm learning. But back to the business. This has nothing to do with freestyling but it still does because changing your pitch keeps the listeners interested. Like if you are going for three minutes long with just the same voice, no one is, wants to listen to you. That's the same for your music. So this might be a tip for better music and better freestyles. Remember that, change your pitch. If you are happy, if you are going to throw a hard bar in, make it, express it with your voice, just like I'm doing right now. You know, if I can do it, you can do it too. Tip number 11, don't be afraid to pause in your freestyle. Using a pause here and there isn't that bad at all. In fact, it will add a lot of cadence to your track and kills a lot of the mountainous vibes in your freestyle. Like what I said before about the pitch, this is the same thing. If you wait and then go further, that just adds something. And you can use that because it will give you more time to think about it or it just gives you some pause to experience with a new flow. Tip number 12, freestyle all day. This might be one of the most common tips in this entire video, but you know, if you want something, you have to work hard for it and believe for 100% in your craft. Look at me, I'm working 7 days a week and I'm still trying, although I never blew up and... But I believe inside myself that it will happen anytime soon. You have to trust the process. You will not be just as good as Eminem if you're starting out for just a year. I think he read all dictionaries and books and everything. He did so much for it. And you can do it too. It's just the work you need to put in. Tip number 13. Memorize bars. I know, freestyling is all about doing something in the moment with the flow. And especially with a clear mind. But it is definitely not a shame if you already had some bars in your mind. Because it can help you start at least. You don't have to like create an entire song in your head and expect people to think that you are freestyling, no. But just the first bar can help you, or the first two. Tip number 14. Stop thinking, start learning. This might be the most obvious tip in the world for rap artists. But I think there are still a lot of people slash rap artists who are sleeping on this. Your instrument is your voice and especially the words that come out of your voice because yeah you're freestyling. What you need to do is you need to start to read dictionaries. You need to start, you start, you have to read dictionaries for rhymes. You have to re read rhyme books, just rhymes in general and other books. If you have to read, read, read and learn more words, your word game is super important when it comes to freestyling. You have to like think about 10 words on the right side of your head and freestyle with the left side of your head to keep going and going. Tip number 15, the last tip of today. The, this tip is all about don't stop even if you fail slash failed. The title said enough. If you stop, it's over. But if you fail and you get back up, like everyone's doing, they're freestyling and then they're doing hmm, 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 or something, you know? You, I mu you must have heard that, just to get back on the rhythm and on the flow. Everyone has that and it's no shame if you're experiencing that. So my biggest tip is stop judging yourself and just go with the flow. That's everything you need to do. Go with the flow and do whatever comes to your mind. Okay, now I have a bonus tip. Not exactly a tip, but we are going to try something. I have a beat, I made it specially for this video, you can see it here, and you are going to try to freestyle for one minute. Why? Because I want to know which tips help the best for you. I know you cannot read an entire dictionary at this video at this point, but just go with what you have already. Like I said before, it comes from within, so just do it. Let me know if you made it. And if you want a more experienced challenge, go to my channel and search for a 10 minute freestyle or even the 15 minutes freestyle. And I'm soon going to upload the 20 minute freestyle. So stay tuned and this is how you can learn to freestyle. 
I want to thank you for listening and being here with me. Leave a like down below and subscribe if you like this. I will keep making beats and uploading them, but I also want to help you with this because it is important that we grow together and not against each other. Thank you.